My name is Denise De Leon. My name is David Hershey. We are at the Laura Robbins Gallery of Design from Nature. Which is one of the three museums here on campus at the University of Richmond. It's our natural science and decorative arts museum. We have rocks, minerals, fossils. fossils shells. A giant clam. Decorative, decorative arts, arts. Ancient coins. From the Lydian Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the Roman Empire. And different kinds of minerals and gemstones. gemstones. Our fluorescent mineral room is one of our most popular attractions here at Laura Robbins. It's certainly the largest fluorescent mineral room in the city. It's one of the few fluorescent mineral rooms in the state. This is definitely not the only place in the United States to see glowing rocks, but in my opinion, it's definitely one of the best. Basically what you do is you come in. I hit the big green button. This is our fluorescent mineral room. Your socks will glow. Your fingernails will glow. If you're smiling and you've brushed your teeth recently, your teeth will glow. If you didn't brush your teeth, well, you. And then you get bombarded with color. We have everything from bright purples to greens and reds. Reds, blues, greens, whites. Orange, purple, orange. Just a broad spectrum of really vivid, really vibrant color. All of these minerals are fluorescent. Fluorescence was first discovered in rocks containing the mineral fluorite. Not all minerals will fluoresce. Sometimes there are certain bits within them that cause them to react to the ultraviolet light. These rocks are being hit by these different kinds of light that is producing energy and activating impurities and particles within the rocks. The light energy from the ultraviolet light goes down into the rocks, it gets into these impurities, and it excites the electrons within these rocks. These electrons get popped out of their normal orbits. They are running around emitting light. And the colors that you see are influenced by these impurities and by the energy that they're emitting. Some minerals fluoresce nicely under long wave, some fluoresce nicely under short wave. Most of them will kind of glow nicely under both. As you remove that light source, you remove that source of energy, they calm down, they sort of go crashing back into their normal orbits, and they go back to being normal, everyday, ordinary rocks. Phosphorescence was also first discovered in rocks that contained phosphorus. With a phosphorescent rock, you'll see that energy being retained for a longer period of time. So after you remove the energy source, you still see the energy being released in the form of light. They are just rocks. Uh, they are fun rocks, though. How many times in your life do you get to see something that you press a button and things pop with color. The beauty of the fluorescent mineral room is really the fact that you are seeing science in action. You are seeing how energy is being emitted with your eyes. And it's not only a scientific experience, but it's also visually a beautiful experience as well.